We just want to welcome you once again to our live broadcast right from our headquarters here in Entebbe. Through these uh, many weeks we have been talking about the rupture of the church and now we started the series about the Antichrist. I've been sharing with you a few things about the Antichrist and we continue to talk about him maybe we shall for, um, stop today or tomorrow regarding on what the context will be giving unto you I told you earlier that the Antichrist is going to be the second most powerful man the world has ever received. He will be a politician. He will be a philosopher. He will be a leader. He will be an economist. And finally, he will call himself God. And if you have been following the series of these teachings about the rapture and the Antichrist, you will find that they are in reference of the two people people who have been walking side by side parallel from Genesis. The seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. Through the pages of the Bible, they have been moving in parallel sides. Finally, the seed of the woman produced Jesus Christ. And Jesus is considered to be the most powerful man the world has ever received. The seed of the serpent through Cain and Esau and Edom all the way to uh, Judas Iscariot will eventually also produce its most powerful influential man on the earth whom we call the Antichrist. The, the mystery of the Antichrist is moving on right now. But it's not yet revealed because the church is still in position of the earth. The church is having influence on society. The Holy Spirit is moving upon the face of the earth as it came on the day of Pentecost. But when the rapture appears and the church is taken away, then this man will be officially revealed. So just be prepared to be part of the rapture of the church. Because if Jesus leaves you in the rapture, you are going to face the consequences of the ruler of this man for seven years which we call the great tribulation great torture and killings and murders so this man will appear immediately after the rupture of the church so when the church goes to heaven then this man will begin his seven year rule I think we said the other day that he will come as the man who came to deliver Israel out of his problems. Then he will convince the ten horns of the book of Daniel to join him. Which are considered to be the most powerful ten nations in the European Union. And then after three and a half years of the seven years, 
He will break the treaty with Israel. He will break the treaty with the ten horns. He will go to the temple in Jerusalem. Sit in the holy place. And call himself God. The tribulation will begin, continue, and go on very fiercely. We have been talking about the characteristics of this man and his qualities. We said number one, it will be different from all the people. We talked about that. Number two, he will be very intelligent. Very intelligent. That he will even reach the last mark a human being can reach at. The number of man is number six. No man can go beyond number six. Because number seven belongs to God. And you get a number of six, he is trying to reach number seven. He will try to, 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 to get many sixes, and he will be trying to reach number seven. So that's why the Bible calls him six, six. Six. He's trying to go to number seven, but he cannot. And then we saw he will be a very great orator, very powerful speaker. And his speech will convince many people. There are two more things I want to talk about this man. Number five, he will be a philosopher. This this man will be a philosopher of great distinction. Very powerful philosopher. We all know one of the great philosophers in history was called Socrates. Socrates, Socrates. and Plato. These were the most powerful philosophers the world has ever experienced. So the Antichrist or the beast or 666 he will also add on the on the on the on the company of the great philosophers the world has ever received. In his in his philosophical understanding he will even be able to understand dark sentences. Let's go to Daniel chapter number 8 and verse number 23. And we see what I'm talking about. Daniel 8 and verse number 23. The Bible says, and as I was considering Daniel 8:23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressor come to full, a king of fierce continents and understanding dark scent shall stand up. A king of fierce continents, continents here in Davika. And understanding dark sentences shall stand up. This man will be in a position to understand dark sentences or hidden things. Can we have the easier translation, please, if possible? Is your translation. He will become very strong. Eight what? Oh, now confusing. At the end of their rule, when their sin is at its height, a fierce king, a master of intrigue, we will rise to power. But let us go back to the King James Version. Because it will be bring more meaning. Mm. So this man we will be a king of fierce continence. And understanding dark sentences. 
He will be such a great philosopher of some distinction. This man will even surpass the knowledge of Solomon. Solomon was another man who was having understanding of dark sentences. You remember when he made a choice to who was the owner of the and the living baby. Remember that story. He brought a very small test. And he said, please get a knife. If you are both fighting for the living baby, you both don't like the dead body. So what I'm going to do, we are going to cut into two pieces the living baby so that each one of you will get a piece. He was a man understanding dark sentences. And then they brought the knife and he commanded the baby to be laid down to be cut into two so that each of these two women could get a piece at least to be satisfied. So one woman said Yes, yes, yes. Let us cut him in two so that we each get a piece. But the other woman was saying, No, no, King Solomon. Don't cut that baby. You rather give that baby to the other woman. So then Solomon, understanding dark sentences, knew that the, the baby was belonging to the woman who was saying don't cut it don't cut him because inside of Solomon he knew that no real biological mother can allow the killing of he, her baby in front of her eyes. No understanding woman can accept that. So this woman was saying, the other woman rather take the living baby and I remain with the one who was dead. Because I really know this is my baby. This is my baby. But I cannot have to get a piece and the other woman a piece. So Solomon was so intelligent to understand the owner of the baby of the two women. But this man will be even wiser than Solomon. He will be a man of philosophy. That he will even be able to understand understand dark sentences. So we need to be prepared for the rapture of the church so that you may not face the fierce countenance of this antichrist. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, when you read 2 Chronicles chapter 9 and verse 1, Second Chronicles 9.1 You will find that story there. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem with a very great company of camels that had spices and gold in abundance and precious stones and when she was come to Solomon she communed with him in with him of all that was in her heart. Verse number two. Verse number two. And Solomon told her all her questions. And there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. You can see the wisdom Solomon had. Very wise man. He was a very wise king. He received the wisdom from God. There was nothing that you could not tell this woman all the way from Africa. But this Antichrist, the beast, triple six, the son of perdition, 
He will even surpass Solomon's wisdom. He will be very philosophical. And he will be able to understand even hard questions and understanding dark sentences. Okay. Again about this man. He will appear sorry. He will appear as a result of great religious rebellion. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 He will appear As a result of great religious rebellion Look there Let no man deceive you by any means For that day shall not come Except there be a falling away first And that man of sin be revealed The son of perdition Verse number 4 Who opposes and exalted himself Above all that is called God All that is worshipped so that he, is, he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God I want you to see this man he is a man every member of the church should never be under his rulership that's why Jesus Christ is coming in advance to take his church he's coming to take his bride away he's coming to rapture us he cannot allow us to go through such terrible situations if you, are give, if you gave your life to Jesus if you are born again sanctify the blood of Jesus filled by the Holy Spirit you are a child of God your name is written in the book of life you are a candidate of eternal life don't exchange your salvation with mere small pity things very small things sex like a bottle of beer how can you exchange your salvation with a bottle of beer with chicks and chips and chicken and you offer your body into sex and you are losing your eternity for no reason salvation is a gift from God it is not to be worth to be exchanged by mere small things no way we are washed by the blood of the lamb the lamb of God without spot and blemish and so if you want not to go under this rulership of this man the bible says work out your salvation with fear and trembling Every day, check your Christian life with God. Every day, get your mirror which is the Bible and see yourself into that mirror whether you are doing things right or wrong every day walk with God every day be filled with the Holy Spirit every day do what is right the Spirit of God inside of you always tells you what is wrong and what is right Follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to be wrapped in rapture. You don't have to be left on earth to face this man of a fierce continence. See how this man is described in the Bible. This man will oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God. This is the same thing Satan himself 
did. He exalted himself above that which is called God. And he said in Isaiah chapter 14. I think verse number 7 around there. Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14. You can look, you can look for that verse. Okay. How that thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which dost work in the nations? Let's go very quickly. Let's go very quickly. Thou hast said in thine heart, Satan, Satan. called himself God Yaita, five times. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let us give. We normally give online 0708 086 247 Airtel Money and 0776 MTN. Let's give. National lockdown is not a license for us to be stingy to the work of God. We need to give to God. With the little you have, give. With the plenty you have, give. Father bless every giver. Prosper them. Increase them Lord. Keep them safe. Keep them alive. I also pray that this lockdown may be lifted so that we go back to our jobs to take care of our families. Thank you Lord for you are touching the heart of the king to release the country back to normal. Amen. Amen. Amen.